Hi, I'm Marissa Butler. I'm from San Diego. I am 24 years old and I am 5'8". I work as an investment executive assistant at Sprott Global. I started pageants in my home state of Maine where I competed in the Miss Maine Teen USA pageant. I placed first in her up and then after that I decided to go on to the Miss America system uh, in their Miss division. I competed there for three years in a row um, and my first year I was fourth in her up. The second and third year I was first in her up and the first year I was first in her up in 2013 I was afforded the opportunity to represent Maine at the National Sweetheart Pageant where I won their People's Choice Award. After that, I went on to the Miss USA system again and competed for the title of Miss USA 2016, which I then won and went on to Miss USA. After that, I decided to move to sunny San Diego where I competed uh, for the title of Miss San Diego 2018. And that was actually the 100th year anniversary of that title, which I won and then went on to Miss California where I was placed top 16 and won their preliminary swimsuit award, which is the last one they will ever have. My college roommate got me really interested in volunteering when I was living with her in college. And ever since then, I have made it a point to volunteer almost once every single weekend. Uh, and when I moved to San Diego, it became much more regular. And my friends started calling it my service Saturdays. So I'd always do service projects every Saturday morning. In San Diego, most of those include environmental projects. I work a lot with the San Diego Canyonlands, San Diego Audubon Society, and different beach cleanups. But as far as my volunteer experience, it ranges to anything from Operation That's My Dress with the USO um, to you know, mentoring younger girls. Um, and it's just something that I think is so important in this day and age where we're always so busy, we're on our phones all the time, that we take the time and say, I, I want to honor the real tangible physical world and give back to my community and it's just really a good way to one get outside meet new people and uh, help make where you're living a better place because the grass is greener where you water it and I want where I live to be an amazing place to live. As Miss World America I would really like to focus on cyberbullying because I've not only experienced it myself, but my best friend has uh, to the point where she almost committed suicide. And I think it's so important in this uh, day and age where most of our life is online that we really address those issues because uh, you can hide behind these uh, keyboards and your tablets and smartphones, but those words, they come to real people who have real problems and I feel like we're almost desensitizing ourselves to that fact and I think that we need to remind people that their words have consequences and that you know this is something that you know just because you click send and then you forget about it doesn't mean that the person who's receiving it does uh, so I think that it'd be very important as someone who has a megaphone such as Miss World America to shed light on something so important as that. I've always had a hard time answering the who are you or tell me a little bit about yourself question because I can't really summarize it in a few words. I don't really fit into one stereotype. I kind of fit into multiple. So I'd say the first one, that my first identifier would have been a scholar. I loved school and I graduated my high school with over 4.0 GPA, went on to college, graduated cum laude. My gift I wanted when I was 13 was a tour of Harvard. So that was something that I was, uh, you know, that was always something that was very important to me. But at the same time, I was also a athlete. I played three um, Division II sports in college and was on all my varsity teams in high school as well. I played soccer, lacrosse, and cheering. Uh, so, you know, I have that sporty athletic side. Uh, but then I also have the artistic side where I, I sing opera, which in general isn't something that many people my age do at, to begin with. Um, so, and then, you know, I felt like pageants, it was finally the place that I felt that all of those things could come together and actually work towards one common cause. Um, so I was able to shine in an interview for my academics. I was able to shine on like the bikini or fitness round because I was so sporty and athletic. And then I was able to use my talent by singing opera 
um, for that phase of the competition as well. So I really, I felt like I found my home, my place where I fit in uh, in this world when I started participating in pageants. So that's why I would really love to be able to represent the United States at international pageants because pageants gave me a place to belong, it gave me a family and to be able to represent my family and my country at an international level, I couldn't think of any greater honor. To me, Miss World America is a woman that's not held back by limitations or stereotypes. It's a woman that is herself unapologetically and is really just trying to make a really positive impact and difference on this world and that is something that I have tried to incorporate in every aspect of my life uh, and it's not just this past seven years that I've been involved in pageants but this has been who I am at my core uh, from the day I was born is someone who just really wants to make a real change a difference in this world leave a positive impact on the people that I come in contact with and be someone that You'd be proud if they were your daughter, you'd be proud if they were your friend, um, someone that people can look up to. Uh, being a role model is something I take very seriously. I mentor a young girl here in San Diego, and to be able to do that at a national and international level, and to be able to help more than just you know, the few people who are in my life, but to be able to be an example for all of the young women and across our country, I, I think that would be such an honor um, and I would do my very best to be able to fill those shoes.